ancestry piece is really interesting, but like that's just the beginning piece. I don't know if you know it or not, but I'll tell you a thing or two. Hi, I'm Danielle Romero from the docuseries Finding Lola. Um, maybe you came to the channel because you saw one of the episodes of the series. First of all, I just want to thank you so much <laughs> for the outpouring of like love and stories. So I want to talk about the DNA communities. Um, I want to talk about the communities in particular because I actually feel like they give a lot more information than, than the per like percentage breakdown that I've gotten because a couple of family members have taken tests, like most haven't, and um, there hasn't been a lot of like talking about it. <laughs> I mean, people are just taking your test and they're seeing somebody pop up and you realize, oh, this person took the test too. I want to talk about my um, in particular, my mom's test and my test. And so the first community is really no surprise, and I wrote them down on cards. The first community is the Louisiana Creoles and African Americans. So that was one of the communities I got based on our paper trail. So I was able to trace Lola's father's side, and that's how I was able to find the slave records and all the things I'm going to share on this channel with you. But my mom actually got one that was a little more specific. Hers was the Louisiana Creoles and African Americans. And then they went even tighter on that, and they said from the Lake Charles area, and I think they said Lafayette. So that's Lola's dad's side. I want to kind of address, like, I saw this, like, theme coming up through the comments of, like, my family not embracing the African-American heritage. I'm starting these interviews, and I'm talking with people who haven't had a test, who, like, really have no idea, like, what's actually in their heritage. I was just sitting down to interview people to kind of get family stories. Like, that was the whole point of this for me, was this private little project that I could have to save all of our family history because so much had already been lost. But I actually think it's really interesting to do it this way. I was really just getting, what do you remember hearing? Like, what was your gut feeling about this? And it wasn't influenced by, like, their tests. So that was one of the communities. The other community I want to talk about was northeastern Mexico and south Texas. And then Lola's mother's side was really difficult. It was so hard. Like, I literally just was able to get some records um, this Month, last month, I hired a genealogist. I had my friend Belinda Brooks, who is amazing, help me relocate Lola's mom's side because it was like not there. It was just, like, where, where are you? And like a lot of people will think that they have Native American and they don't. That's probably a thing that happens too because when you're just like growing up with no information and people are passing down half truths, and of course the thing is going to get muddled and nobody knows what's what's happening and what's true enough. I would love to share in other videos kind of like how we knock down that brick wall of like even getting to the place where I have an idea of who this side of the family is. But I want to just emphasize like how much the DNA communities helped. Yeah, Northeastern Mexico and South Texas. So like that was really helpful because you kind of have like an idea of the small little location now that we're looking at. The other thing that really helped me was something called a haplogroup. And that's something that when you, when you get your DNA tested, um, will show up. And I am like by no means a professional. I'm probably going to say a bunch of stuff wrong. What my understanding is that the haplogroup is like a genetic marker that is basically goes on forever. You know, this is a, this is my maternal line. So it's getting passed down from mother to daughter, mother to daughter, mother to daughter, mother to daughter forever. Because I thought Lola's mom was the one that was bringing in the native heritage. I figured that maybe the haplogroup that should show up because Lola would have gotten it from her mom. And then Lola would have passed it down to my grandmother, then to my mother, and then to me. And actually, that's exactly what happened. It's C1C, um, Indigenous to the Americas haplogroup. The ancestry piece is really interesting, but, like, that's just the beginning piece. Like, the real thing is, like, finding your family stories and finding who your ancestors were and, and finding that line that, like, comes down to you. If you're someone who is on that journey maybe you haven't even taken the first step of that journey but like it's something that's in your heart and you want to do i just want to invite you to come into this community that is being created like on its own or maybe this is just like really a fascinating topic for you like come in come be a part of this community i want to create the space in between this hidden heritage that you may have and connecting to whatever that whatever that identity is and whatever that looks like like in a real day-to-day -day way because like the journey's not over